everyone, it's the Cunny Crafter and today I am here because I had a brainwave, well I didn't have a brainwave, this has come from necessity. <laughs> so um, I was asked to print out some photographs and I didn't just want to hand them over, I wanted to make like a photo wallet, printing photographs it's, it's such a dated concept but they should bring it back. <laughs> so I thought we could make um, like a pretty little wallet to put them in. Like if you remember before digital cameras, and you used to get your photos developed at like the chemist or something, and then you used to get them back in like this cute little wallet. That is what I am trying to achieve. So I've drawn a diagram. <laughs> And we all know that I tend to disregard these diagrams once I've done them and I make boo-boos, but I'm going to try and stick to it. I mean, I've literally just done this on the scrap piece bit of paper. So I figured, at first I was like, oh, I wanted to be like 14 inches wide, long, high, whatever that top to bottom is. My paper is only 12 inches. <laughs> so I, I, think I've, I think I figured it out. I think. I am challenging, who am I challenging? The posh paper lady here, if you haven't watched her channel, I recommend it. So I'm gonna use this trendy mix and match papier. I mean, I feel like it's in at least four different languages here. I think I got this from B&M's. I wouldn't have paid more than like three pounds for it. So I'm going with this paper. It has flamingos on the outside so I'm just gonna put that on the floor because my desk is a mess as usual okay I may have to try and sorry if that just made you dizzy I mean we're more in than what we were but not quite okay so we know that this is the right height top to bottom but across here we want it to be eight and a half inches that rule has no good, it only works in centimetres. <laughs> we'll use this side. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scoot over, I've got some inches over here on me now, so just bear with us. Eight and a half is approximately there. No, hang on. Burr. See? Numbers confuse me. We're good that way, but when it's that way. Okay, so I need that mark over here. And not over there. Alright, I think. Oops, we have always got my data. You know what? I'm just going to have to. You know what? I'm just going to cut this to this. <laughs> I'm on a line. I think I can follow it. Eight and three. Yes. <laughs> that should be right. Okay, we're going to be that way. Now, I'm, I'm having to be careful because my paper is direction. So I now know I want to come in again. Wait, I can I can use a little ruler for this now. <laughs> I'm going to have to guess the 12 inch ruler. I know. <laughs> Who works in Imperial anymore? Me when I'm working with 12 by 12 paper. Okay, and I want to come in an inch here on this side actually no no I don't need that I need a scoring board is what I need I'll just bring out the beast of a scoring board so I want to score at Half an inch and an inch half 
half an inch from the other side and an inch okay can I, can I see those score lines not really but you get the idea okay so now I need to know where the top of my paper is that is the top Um, <laughs> you want to be that way? <laughs> yes, yeah, still the top. Okay, so I want a score at four and a half here. Don't work with directional paper, that is my top tip for this. And then I want to do another four and a half, which would take us to nine. Yes. Maths again, and then I want a half inch, so that's nine and a half. Okay, <clears throat> the moment of truth. So I want to get rid of, or should I say, I only want to keep. that bit there so we want to cut off all of that I don't know this could be completely wrong possibly maybe and down here and with this. Yeah. okay we now need something to burnish we're just going to use this that came free with another scoreboard okay so we'll fill this up here and then that all that vein, and then that one all that vein, okay, so that will be like that, and then I'm going to fold these side ones in, both of them, no, one, I want to come out, right, we're doing like a valley, So that one comes in over and that one goes out over. I think I did something like that. Okay, I think I know what I have to do here. I'm gonna angle those edges in a bit. And the same with the top ones. I think I'm not going to sit straight. <laughs> Things are not sitting straight. Show me. Okay, they are. Yeah. Okay, next, just before we glue anything down, I need a long draw, corner chamber. I want to chomp this flap here. Okay, a rudimentary pouch. I'm going to. Am I? I don't know if I want to do some more skipping. I feel like I need to take a. Do I want to take a slither off? 
I feel like I do. I feel like I need to take slither off here. Oh, yeah. We are not going to be able to get our pictures out easily. Okay, so let's reinstate those. Well, that messed up all of my measurements that I've just given you. And I think I'm going to put punch the proximity in the middle. Just to make things even easier. I'm just looking. I think that's the basic construct. You don't have to use this for photos, you can put anything in it. Oh, it's, uh, I did a thing. Okay, I'm thinking what adhesive should I use? You could just go double sided tape. I have my ATG gun, so I'm just going to put that on these. If the object of these this little bit here is to allow for expansion so you can put something thick in. Does it look like an expanding file? Okay. Let's see. So I have a bit of paper. Oh, I think I should have made it a bit longer. But you know what? For a first attempt, it's not too bad. And of course you can decorate this up any which way you like. So what I did was I found my word dies. Oh, I've got a little bit left there. And I've just, oh, my scrap bin, I've pulled out some green glare card. And I just have cut the words, celebrate you. And there was some little hearts in there as well. And I thought, let's just scatter those around as well. So let's try and stick this down. I'm just using BVA because it has the fine nozzle on it. On, round, round, on, over. <laughs> Told you. Let you get back in the swing of things. So we can do it. Celebrate, and then in you. I love using scraps for die cutting because it helps just corral them. You know this card has a tendency to want to pop up. So let's just stick these hearts on. I think there's four in total, but I might just use three. Yeah, that my computer's trying to wake itself up. Let's have a full fun. Maybe we might as well just use it, or else I can just get thrown in the bin. I do think that's all I'm going to do. simple. So we go, just a quick little tutorial using up some scrapbook paper that I mean in fairness I probably wouldn't have used. It, I love it but it's just, it just doesn't go with the style of anything I make. So yeah 
I will get this packed up for a special person that we were celebrating. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.